There's still uh, the breakfast special independence right here, and uh, thank you for joining us. We head straight to our next conversation. We're looking at politics and the 2023 elections. We have a guest who's been here with us uh, from the speech of the president. It's a fine gentleman, Joe Femi Dagoro. He is the founder of Lagos Forum. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks. So um, let's get straight to it. But I, I, I know that there's politics and we're in the season of politicking and the elections is almost here. But how would you describe our political process as a country? 1960, and we're here now. Well, uh, when you look at it, uh, it's still a growing process. It's still growing. Uh, we're not there yet. And we've made tremendous uh, steps. You know, we've taken tremendous steps from where we were. It's always a good thing when you get your independence. And uh, I just want to feel the fact that we are all happy that we are an independent nation. And uh, for the uh, forefathers that have taken that right decision at that time, I think it's a good thing to see where we are today. But we have not done badly, you know, when you look at it and compare to other countries. But at the same time, uh, we have to do better than what we inherited, in court now, because you say you inherited so many things from people. But um, I don't want us to be looking at the colonization as, as an issue right now because it's taking some years back, 62 years. Why should you even be talking about it? We should have grown. Most people, if you have 62 years right now, you have gray hair. You'll be having grandchildren all over the place. So, I mean, this is a moment for us to reflect and say, where are we now? Where are we going? What is going on? A lot of the young people and some of our children, they are not happy with the country we have, uh, you know, we have right now and we are leaving for them because at some point they ask you a question, was it true? If I tell any of my kids and say, listen, I had the opportunity to have bursary. I said, what is bursary? You know, whereby government pays you and whereby there was scholarship to travel around, to do a lot of things. Why is it not now? You can't answer. You just give them, you know, silly excuses of corruption, corruption, corruption. So what happened? My mates are in the government. My mates are the people who are there now. Some of us, we have a generation who have been there, who are there and who are still going to be there. So they blame it on yours. And yes, what can we do to improve? the situation. I, I, I don't want a situation where we, be, we blame the colonial masters, we blame the military, we, blame, we keep blaming people. Let's blame ourselves that we are now there, we want to do something. What are we going to do? What are we doing? There is corruption, no doubt. There is uh, infrastructure deficit, there is no doubt about that. The children in schools, they can't go to school. You know, at the right time right now, most of them have been kidnapped. Some of them are kidnapped, rather. And some of them who are in the university, they can't, in the public university, they can't go back for seven months. So these are the problems that most parents cannot explain what this independence is all about and is a problem right now. So we have to look at it and guard against it. What can we do? to prevent some of these problems, so prevent some of these issues, so that 2023 will lead us ahead of what catastrophe we are coming from or we have in the past. So we are looking at this as an opportunity to lead us, to prepare us. And what I've not seen is the fact that what is the ideology that is driving us? Do we have the ideology that is driving us? I know in the past, when you have some of these political organizations like Action Group and PCA and all these other, it. you know, Awolowo came up with the fact that, listen, I want to give free education, and this is what we are going to have. I want to give free health. This is what we are going to do. But right now, I just said, I will do it. What are you going to do better than what we have right now? What are you going to do that will make people trust you? You know, we speak too much grammar. You know, we are importing not only uh, ideologies that will not work. The Constitution will say we want this kind of American style of uh, you have two houses, the House of Rep and the Senate, and then what is going on there? Sometimes you even see the employees of these two houses saying they are going on strike because they've not been paid. We don't know how much the president earns. We don't know how much the senators are earning. We don't know how much these things are not transparent. So how co can we continue to live under this kind of government? But, it's but, an issue. But Mr. Femi um, um, now we're looking at Nigeria, you know, being a 62-year-old country. Yes. You talked about if you're 62, you you know, have gray hair. Yes. And, you know, you're expecting your children to be growing up and getting married and all that. Yes. Um, but, but some will say that, you know, if you compare Nigeria to the other countries in the world... Like? Um, like... Uh, <laughs> 
I mean, I want to mention names. Just tell me any country. Okay, maybe United States of America, for yes, instance, yes. which is um, a leading democratic nation. Yes. All right, in the world, um, that uh, we, we we're just nascent, and um, you know the, the the term that is used bandied about is a democratic experiment. Yes. Especially when Obasanjo was president. Yes. The first... Uh, For how long do you perform so, experiments? So, so is, this, elaborate it, uh, is this still an experiment? Uh, and looking at... So, I mean, are we not being too hard on ourselves? Are we not being too hard on ourselves? I mean, look at look at, look at at how many years ago was it that the, the British left the country? Look at the Queen herself, who just died, lived through several generations. So we right. are still in, in it. No, 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 no. People I would who, who experience independence are still alive There should today. be a time frame for experiment. You can't be experiment, uh, experimenting but, 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 all this while. But, but, and you still want to experiment but, 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 in 2023? No, Mr. Femme Dagro, you are saying we are 62, but in country years, yes. in country years, we yes. might just be entering adolescence. Uh, listen, you, you <laughs> in want country to, years. Yes, let, let me tell you one thing. Um, you want to look at it. The population of Nigeria in 1960, it's not the same population we have right now, right? And then when you are looking at that and you want to say you want to experiment, how long do you want to experiment with over 200 so million all, all people? these countries that we refer to right. went through their processes. Hold on a minute. Rome was not built in a day. Forget about it. No, Rome was not built in a day, but every day they continue to improve. Yes. If you say Rome was not built in a day, are you improving? Are we it? not improving? So... We are improving, but... Dem democratically, are we not improving? Well, listen, every day you see one of the parties, somebody said, look, I didn't apply for any loan, house rent, why do you give me 28 million? Is that an improvement? And somebody is telling you now that, listen, I'm going to do something better than what they have been doing. What is it? Most of the things you are hearing is a campaign audacity. People will say things that they cannot fulfill. They don't even know. When they get there, they say, oh, I didn't know. So now we have to begin to look at it that we want to do something reasonable. We, we can't continue to experiment with the lives of the people. A spokesman of the campaign group said, look, the people are hungry. So if you know that the people are hungry and you've been there for eight years, what have you done? What are you going to do better than what you've done before? So we have to begin to understand that. And if a political party said, look, I can do everything better. I can produce. We have to produce and produce. What do you want to produce? How do you produce? Because you need the machinery, and the machinery you need has to be imported. You cannot fire the central bank governor immediately. You have the power to do that. You cannot fire all the policemen. You cannot. You need people. So you have to begin to understand it right now that there's a difficult challenge ahead. And no, don't let us carry these young people with a kind of illusion. Because most of the things you people are saying, illusionary things. And that is what pains me. I see children, I see young graduates. You know, we have done a bit. And that the young people are coming up, but the young people are seeing what is wrong. And so tendency is there that they will follow these wrong ideas as well. So let's begin to, why do we have to even be talking about states? Why do we have to be talking about religion? Why do we have to be talking about uh, uh, man to man or man and woman kind of uh, government? So no, religion should not be an issue for us right now in 62 years. Do you think that's appropriate? We shouldn't be talking about ethnicity. Is it, I'm a Yoruba man. If I'm, I'm, I'm married from another state, I'm married from Kogi, does, it, does that make sure that does that make me to be a, a non-Yoruba person again? And you have the elders. The, the annoying thing about some of us is this. We have elders who are trying to, you know, bring this disunity amongst us. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's, some say that Nigeria's democracy, I mean, we look at the, the, the promise, you know, and the, the characters and the personalities that fought for democracy to be re to return to Nigeria, you know, in the days of Babangida, in the days of Abacha. And we can talk about Nadeko and the characters that were associated with Nadeko and the pro democracy struggle as a whole. Some say that the, the characters that emerged, you know, as uh, governors and you know at the executive level around the country, the House of Assemblies, uh, Senate and the House of Representatives we're not the right persons, and that's why we got it wrong from 99. That those who um, were meant to you know, step in, we're not sure the military was going to stay in the barracks. They felt the military was going to come back and do what they did in 1992 uh, or 1993. So, so are, you, do you, are you of the same thought that the right persons stayed back and rather gave the opportunity to people who were not probably qualified and didn't really have the right mindset? And that's why we got it wrong from 1999 date. Listen, if anybody is saying that the person's mind is biased, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's not uh, sensitive to what is on ground. If, you, if, yeah. if people believe, that, why don't you come out? Some people struggle, they suffered for this. And then you are now saying that, you know, um, 
they are, they are the right people, they're not coming because some of the people, they were afraid. And they ran away and they didn't come back again. Intellectuals, pro-democracy activists. Yes, yes. And, but some people yeah. stayed behind and they came in. And these intellectuals, they were waiting for their time. Who will give you that time? If I am in the country and I fought for something and I'm sitting down to have the fun with what I fought for, will you tell me that I have to get I've, out of I've, the place? I've met a lot of persons who say, see, I, I, I just, I even bought the form for uh, one one thought in my, my community. Right. I told him to go and run the election. I even paid for him. Right. Because I didn't feel that uh, this democracy will last. That's your feeling. If somebody feels democracy will not last and is now complaining that, oh, I should have waited, I should have seen this happening, the person is not having a right mind. You have to be positive to understand it. Politics is not for everybody. To be in a political position, I might be talking today, I may not want to be a councillor, I may not want to be uh, a, a governor. But that does not mean that I cannot express myself about the governance, and that does not mean I cannot support whom I feel is good to be there. But to say that, oh, the right people, who are the right people? The first thing I know but, is but, that. But, 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 but because we look, look at the results we've had since yeah, 99. It's because most of That's us, why you're here. So, so if, if the, 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 the right persons were in gov right. governance in, who are the right person in, in politics, in politics, yes. in we probably would, would not be here complaining. Was, will you say Trump was the right guy when he came in there? I'm talking about Nigeria. Yes, because you said we took this thing from America. We are comparing. We said, I said, give me a country. You said America, for instance. Was Trump the right person when he came in there? Now that we have seen what has happened, will you say when Natasha was there, she was the right person in the UK? <laughs> will you say, you know, but you can say in Germany, was Angela Merkel, was, it, was she the right person there? Because she, she still lives in her flat where she stays. She still washes her clothes with them. So, so now what I'm saying is this. Why don't we check the backgrounds of these people? So, why don't you, excuse me, why don't you begin to say, listen, now that we have learned a mistake, we have learned a lesson from this, we have seen the mistake, why don't you say, listen, uh, the candidates, Atiku, can you tell us what you have paid? Taxes. Can you give us your tax return? Can you tell us, Ashwaju, what's your tax return? Obi and Kwakwanzo and lots of them. It is not just about showing us your medical record. If the constitution allows that, the constitution says that even the bank directors, the bank staff, they have to declare their asset. Have they been declaring their assets? So when you don't compel the people to declare their asset and they take us for a ride, so how do we now say no? <laughs> it's we, the citizens, we have the problem with ourselves. We don't ask the right questions. They are coming again with these same promises. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But how much have they been paying for taxes? Okay. Um, we have to ask questions, and that is the problem. It's not, now it is difficult. I tell you what, I can understand that it's difficult to buy the form. Who is that person that has the, a genuine person? Where is he going to get 100 million? Where is he going to get 100 million to pay? So we have not, all of us cannot be president at the same time, but we have to begin to look at it. Let's start from the local level. Oh. And, and, and that is the issue. So, so, we, so we're able to look at some of, uh, you know, the issues. I mean, it's a good time for us to reflect as 62, as yes. 62. And we are a federal system. Right. It's a federal republic of Nigeria. Yeah. with a multi-party system. And that's why you have several political parties with, uh, you know, uh, two houses. So you have mm -hmm. uh, the upper house and the lower house. That's right. And uh, do you think that the problem lies with the system that we're practicing? Because some people have been calling for us to go back to regional government. Yes. Uh, you know, 1963 or thereabout. Right. And that, that's, that would be the solution. So my question to you now is, do you think that the, the system that we're practicing with multi-party system, what have you, you think uh, is the problem? What exactly is I, I think it's, it's part of the problem. No one can specifically say that this is just a major problem, in my own opinion. It's part of the problem because it's too elaborate. We don't even know those who are there. Listen, if you look at other paper, you will see that some people just go in there, they just slip off. <laughs> some don't even go. <laughs> some don't even go. <laughs> but if there's an issue that they're going to do something or whatever, president is coming, well, everybody will rush to or that something place. that they have to benefit from. Yes, they'll mm -hmm. go there. Yeah. You know, in the first instance, why do we have to give these guys uh, the constituency allowance? It is not the duty of a senator or a rep to take money to his constituency and start distributing second-hand machine or whatever they distribute. You have to make laws. Th that's what I'm talking about, caliber of persons who, who got no, the no, forms but, but, but in, in 98 okay to I step in in 99. Kofi, I think it would be okay for him to... Let's talk about the issue of yes, the yeah. system if of governance we, the that system, we practice. The system is faulty, really faulty. We don't even know how much we pay them. 
So it's faulty. If we go to the regional one, and it will enable people to understand how we share the government or the federal from the federal bucket. It will enable us to know who gets what, how this is being shared. For now, it is not being shared well because we have so many agencies that we cannot even control. We have so many, you know, that is why you see strikes going on. And that's why you begin to see that at the end of the day, people begin to tell you, listen, we are not doing the right thing. The system is faulty. Okay, v very quickly, please. Yes. Very quickly. Um, we have an election coming up. Right. Will Nigeria get it right in 2023? Nobody can promise you that. Nobody can promise you that because what I'm seeing, I'm seeing the same people saying the same thing. Not even anything different? Nothing different. What is the difference in what they're saying? We no, have we infrastructure do. problem. You are saying you will, do, you will do it better. How will you do it better? We have not seen their, 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 uh, their, their programs. But we, it seems to be a new wave. A new wave we are talking about that, the obedience. Right. It's a good thing there's a new wave. A new wave has to come. In every society, we expect this kind of new wave. But even if they don't win the election, please, they shouldn't just stop there. You know, and I want to tell you something. Even in America and all other places, you are saying that it is not just one election that will bring a new party or a new candidate into the government. I would have expected with this new wave, even if this new wave, I wish them well, if they don't get the presidency, let us have governors from the Labour Party. Not the governors that will get there and after six months, then they, they go to the, another party. We are jumping from one party to the other. And I think we should make it as part of our law that you cannot just be jumping from one place to the other. Like the man himself has jumped from uh, Abga to PDP and from PDP now to Labour. You know, so you see this is causing a lot of problems because people jump from one place to the other. That is not showing character. That yeah. is not showing principle. That is not showing ideology. What are they promoting? They are promoting the same thing. And that is why the young people are just looking at it. Let us just but, get but, but it, it. It seems the Electoral Act is, is already, it seems to be addressing that to an extent, to right. an extent, not okay. totally. Uh, with, uh, for instance, um, uh, uh, no Kwankwa so now Shekarao who right. says I'm, oh I got the ticket on, on NMPP's uh, platform I'm leaving NMPP to join PDP because I can't uh, see I, I Kwankwa so in Kano right. and that Tiku is courting me and I next say no 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 you are listing you as a candidate for NMPP the Sorry. same thing with Lawan mm -hmm. who said listen uh, somebody has already won the election and said I want to get it which used to happen before so is electoral act are you confident that it, it will help us get it right this time if we continue I repeat consistency is just the key word there we have to be consistent with what we have improved upon. We have improved. Even the infrastructure we're talking about, we have improved on infrastructure. We have improved on all these edges, all these corners. But are we going to be consistent? This is what people point out in Lagos State, that they have 25 years development plan and they are consistent on developing the plan. Look at it. The Third Mainland Bridge was not built by any politician. You continue to blame the military. The military, they did something good as well that we're still upon. So what stops us from having this fourth mainland bridge? What stops us from having a second Niger bridge that this government is completing soon? All right, we, 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 have, we have to go. It's, uh, I wish I had more time with you. Right. Yes, yes. But uh, we, we've, we've, uh, we've spent uh, quite some considerable time to talk about the important things. Nigeria at 62, politics and democracy. And uh, Joe Femi Dagunro, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. And happy October 1. Thank you. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Joe Femi Dagunro is the founder of the Lagos Forum. And of course, uh, that brings us to the end of um, uh, Independence Day special right here on Plus TV Africa. It makes this being a, a thrill. Seeing you on a Saturday, we don't always see. Yeah, I think it, we, it feels I think, very strange. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. 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 But, but it's great. I mean, thank you so yeah, much for yeah, being part of the yeah. show. We appreciate you, everyone that's, I mean, being part of the show. And if you missed out on it, it will be okay. Uh, to join us on social media, we're, on Plus, we're at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Now, uh, the next show will come up. John and Helen, please come Oh, yeah, us. the John and Helen show. Mess, what are your plans for today? What are, what are you uh, I don't know. Here? I will just relax and say. You know, you have to go out, go somewhere. <laughs> I, I might go have dinner with with, uh, with the madame, some, you know. You, you know that's fine. Yes, I will yes, definitely yes. do something. We are just after. But don't, don't go to Adam. Reality, by the way, because the road just might be blocked. Mm. <laughs> My name is Kofi Bartels, and uh, we'll return on Monday. And I am Messia Boko. Have a great day.